What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is the Tabata Hit with Weights. We're gonna perform today's workout Tabata style. That means we're gonna go four back-to-back -back rounds of each exercise. That's 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. The only equipment required for today's routine is a pair of dumbbells, and the weight that you choose is dependent upon your fitness level. You can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for the easier modifications. If you're ready to go, let's kick it up a notch. Let's get this routine started with a warm up. First one on the list today is going to be a march in place plus an upright external rotation. So we're gonna alternate, bringing up opposite side knees, and at the same time, keeping those elbows at a 90 degree angle and pulling back on the hands. Warming up those shoulders. That's it, this is an efficient move, warming up your upper and lower body at the same time. Not a race on this one. Just moving through the paces here. Be plenty of time to work hard coming up. Keep breathing. Feel those shoulders loosening up. And the purpose of this warm up today is to increase your overall body temperature and at the same time get your heart rate up, gain a little added mobility. Feeling those shoulders getting warm already? Yep, for sure. For three two, one, zero. Excellent, shake those shoulders loose. All right, next one we're gonna move into is a staggered straight leg kick and twist or? A staggered knee raise plus twist. So let's get into a staggered position. I'm gonna have my hands out to my side. And I'm gonna have mine right here up, up by my head. You, you decide which one's right for you. I'm gonna do a straight leg kick and twist into that leg. And I'm gonna do the knee raise plus twist. So again, depending on your fitness level, your flexibility level. You decide which one of these is most appropriate for you today. This one's gonna loosen up your hamstrings, your lower back, shoulders, chest, core. It's also gonna help you work on that balance. Yeah, exactly, definitely. <laughs> Having a hard time here. And if you're doing the straight leg variety but you can't quite get the leg up as high as I can, that's okay. Breathing through it here. We're gonna encourage you to make all of these moves your own today. Fitness is not a one size fits all solution. Let's switch opposite side now. Again, you decide which variation is right for you. And don't be surprised if one side is a little bit tighter than the other. That's pretty common as well. Keep a nice bend in the knee of that lead leg. It's gonna help you keep your balance and your stability. That's right. Not much left on this one. Again, breathing through. Use this time to mentally prepare yourself for the work that we have coming up. Think about what it is that brought you here today. What it is you're working on. What are those goals? Four, three, two, one. Zero. All right, excellent. Ooh. We're gonna move to the floor for the next one. We're gonna do a multi-planar lunge and twist. So let's go ahead and get up into a high plank position, also known as like a push-up position. And now let's bring that right foot up by your right hand the best you can. If it ends up being back here, that's okay as well. Let's take that right hand and we're gonna reach through and then rotate. Reach up and follow that hand with your eyes. Reach through, reach up. Not a race on this one. Nice and slow pace. Again, this one's gonna loosen up your hips, glutes, quadriceps. 
your lumbar flexibility, shoulders. Again, we like to choose these moves that are hitting multiple muscle groups at the same time. Nice dynamic warm up movement here. Exactly. All right, let's place that right hand back down, right foot steps back. Now let's do the opposite side. Left foot steps up, left hand reach through and up. Same move, just opposite side here. And again, you might have to make this your own if you can't quite get that foot up as high, it's all right. Doing the best you can, coming back, getting a little bit better every time. Nice full range of motion on both ends of the reach for five, four, three, two, one. All right, come on down into a quadruple position. So we're gonna be on our hands and knees. We're gonna do a bird dog next. It's our last warm up move. Let's take your right hand, bring it to your left knee. Now, at the same time, we're gonna kick back on our right, he our left heel and bring that right straight arm up. And now return back again, right hand or left knee and back up. We're trying our best to kick back with that heel like we're trying to kick a hole through the wall. So instead of kicking up, you're kicking straight back. That's right. Trying to keep that back straight. Keeping the back straight and keeping those shoulders and hips nice and square. And you're squeezing that upper back as well on that right side. So not just squeezing that glute. And so it's basically your left glute and your right upper back muscles are gonna be squeezed on every repetition. Excellent, okay, let's switch it up opposite side now. So we're going left hand to right knee and full range of motion. Again, kicking straight back at the top of this move from your hand to your heel, you should be able to make a straight line. That's what we're aiming for on this one. Again, kicking back and not up. Gets easy on this one to try to like bring that heel up to the ceiling, but instead try to pretend like you're trying to kick a hole in the wall behind you. Excellent. Nice breath, nice controlled movements here. Four, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Warm up is complete. Excellent warm up. I'm feeling good. Ooh. Ready to attack this workout. How about you? I'm ready. Let's do this. All right. Hope you're ready out there. We're going to need both dumbbells for the first one. I'm going to do a staggered skier swing. And I'm going to do a neutral stance skier swing. You decide which one is right for you. So I'm going to get into this staggered stance where I have my right foot back. Both of us are going to have a slight bend in our knees. We're going to take those dumbbells. We're going to swing them back, hinging at our hips, and then hips forward, hips back, hips forward. Stand up nice and straight at the top of the movement. Let's go 20 seconds on and then a 10 second rest. Repeat four times. Let's do it. All right, let's go. First one, here we go. In three, two, one, begin. Hips back, hips forward. On this one, I like to say that your arms are really just along for the ride. So if you're feeling a stretch in your hamstrings and your glutes, hinging at those hips, and it's like you're trying to touch your hips. Three, two, one, and break. Excellent. It's like you're trying to Ooh. touch your hips to the wall behind you. If you're doing the stagger stance, you're gonna switch which foot you have in front. Let's begin in three, two, one, Let's go. Here it is. So this Tabata style workout, we're going maximum effort for 20 seconds, and then you get a quick 10 second rest. Using all the power in your hips to bring those dumbbells up. That's it, keep your back straight and your head stays in line with your spine. So you're not looking up the whole time on this one. And break. Excellent, okay. Ooh. Two down, two to go. That's right, Again, halfway. if you're doing the staggered, switch your feet. And beginning in three, two, one, let's go tribe. That's it, you see how those breaks are gonna go by fast. Oh yeah, 10 seconds is nothing. Get used to that. Hips back, hips forward, that's it. Squeezing those glutes at the top of every repetition. Almost there, fight through the end of this one. In three, two, one, 
and break. Excellent, okay. One last one Ooh. here, this first move. Yep. A couple of deep breaths. Starting in three, two, one. Let's go, tribe. That's it. Last one. Every time, squeeze those glutes at the top. That's it. Making those hips take over. It's not about the arm swing. It's about that hip hinge. You got it. Fight through this last In one. In three, two, one, and break. Excellent. Okay, done with that one. We're going to need two dumbbells again. I'm going to lighten my load a little bit. As am I. You decide which weight's right for you for all of these. We're going to move to the floor. We're going to get into a straddle position. This is just a split position. We're going to do a straddle dumbbell press. We're going to start with those dumbbells up by our ears. We're going to press straight up and return back down. That's it right there. 20 Ooh. seconds. <laughs> and three, two, one. Begin. Again, just getting as many repetitions in as you can in this 20 second time period. Core stays tight, good posture. All the way up, all the way down. Nice, big deep breaths, you got it. In three, two, one, and break. Excellent, okay, that's Ooh. one down. Like I said, we have four in total here. You'll get the hang of this that's right. pattern, if you will. Starting again in two, one, begin. Excellent. Ideally, you're breathing in as those dumbbells are coming down and then breathing out and exhaling as you press those dumbbells straight overhead. Biceps by your ears. Nice, full range of motion on that press. All the way down, all the way up. Three, two, one, break. Excellent. And if on any of these you need to adjust your weight That's as right. you're going, feel free. Like, so if you need to go heavier or lighter, please do so. And two, one, begin. That's it, two down, two to go. Come on, tribe. I'm grinding them out right here. Go to your happy place on this one. That's it, fighting through that burn. We're gonna be stronger than that burn today. Good, good, good. Keep cranking them, Tribe. You got this. In three, two, one, break. Ah, burn so good. Three down, one to go. This is flying by here. Woo. Keep this pace up. All right, and two, one, begin. Last 20 seconds. Here we go. How many can you get right here? All these moves today, it's you versus you. It's going to be a mental game today. How much can you push yourself? Let's see it, come on. Almost through with this one. And three, two, one, break. Ah, <sighs> excellent job. Whew. Okay, we're gonna give our upper body a break. We need one dumbbell and we're moving to our feet. We're gonna do either an offset squat jump. Or an, I'm sorry, an offset squat without the jump, leaving my feet on the ground. So feet are shoulder width apart, weight back in the hips, dumbbell in your left hand. Weight back in those hips, squat down. And I'm gonna come up and jump right back into the next one. And I am on my tippy toes, never leaving the ground. You decide what's right for you, but here we go. First one in three, two, one, begin. Full range of motion on that squat, weight back in the hips every time. Ooh. On that lowering phase, make sure you keep your feet flat. Shouldn't be coming forward onto your toes while you're coming down. Definitely not. And three, two, one, and break. Ooh, this one's gonna feel good. Ooh, my calves okay. are already burning. <laughs> Let's switch dumb switch hands that that dumbbell is in for the next one. In three, two, one. Let's go, tribe. That's it. I want you to inhale, breathe in on the way down. Exhale as you explode up. You got it. One in the next here. Get that back straight. Head stays up and in line with that spine. That's right. Head up, chest up. And three, two, one, break. Excellent. Okay, that's two Ooh. down, two to go. Halfway Switch that point. dumbbell. Ooh, feeling those legs. That's right. Starting again in two, one, begin. Let's go. Come on, tribe. Here we go. Here we go. It's that time of the workout. You got to start reminding yourself what it is that brought you here. Trying to lose weight gain muscle, just kick life's behind. And three, two, one, break. Excellent, whatever it is, <sighs> stay focused on it right here, right now. Switch that hand, All last right, guys. one of these. Two, one, 
Begin. That was 10 seconds, man. And it'll go by so fast. So fast. <laughs> Almost not fair. Come on. Right here, right now. Last one. What do you got? Come on, tribe. So close, so close. Fight through it. Five seconds. Two. And one. <laughs> zero. Excellent job. <laughs> Let's give those legs a break. Yes. Move into our biceps. We need two dumbbells for this next one. We're gonna do a cross body hammer curl. Dumbbells in both hands. We're gonna curl with our right hand in front of the body, cross body. Now left hand in front of the body. Hammer, right, left. That's it for 20 seconds. Let's do it. In three, two, one, begin. Right and left. I want you to control that lowering phase of the curl as well. So that means you're not just allowing the dumbbell to flop back down, but instead control it on the way down as well. It's that eccentric phase of the move. Nice, big, Three, deep breaths. Two, one, and break. Excellent, okay, that's one down. Three to go here. That's right. Gonna burn out those biceps and forearms. Three, two, one, Begin. Right back into it. One into the next. No momentum. That's it. And it would be a lot easier on this one if we just allow those dumbbells to flop down every time and then. Or if we could use those legs to bring them up. If we're doing something like this, shouldn't look like that. Nope. Nice and controlled. Two, one, break. Excellent. And nice if these job. are too easy, increase the resistance you're using. If they're too difficult, decrease the resistance. Two, one, Begin. Excellent. Good posture. Head stays up. Shoulders stay back. Nice neutral wrists. That's it. Nice squeeze. You know, working both those forearms and the biceps. That's right. Almost there. Almost there. Let's go, tribe. And three, two, one, break. Excellent. What about one more of these? Last one. Last one. That's it. Trying to keep track of where we're at here. Three, two, one, begin. Excellent. Let's go. As we get into it, my cognitive function starts to slow down <laughs> a little bit. So forgive me. I don't know what I would do without Claudia here helping me. Whew. One in the next. We're almost there, Tribe. Last one. Not too much longer to go. Come on. And three, two, one, and break. Excellent. Okay. Nice work. Holding on to both those dumbbells. If you need to, you can switch your weight. I am. We're gonna do a dumbbell reverse fly. So again, this one's gonna work your upper body, hitting the upper back next. Feet are shoulder width apart, bend over on a 45 degree angle, slight bend in both elbows. Now pull apart, maintaining that same bend in both elbows. Here we go, 20 seconds in three, two, one. Get it started. And just like on that last one, we are controlling that descent or lowering phase as well. Not just about the pull up and back, but control that eccentric phase just in the same way. In three, two, one, break. Excellent. Ooh. Okay, one down, three to go here. Burning out that upper back. That's it. Going. It always kills me. In three, two, one, Begin. Excellent. Going to test that grip on this one as well, especially back to back with that last exercise. These two are going to put your grip to the test, and that's a positive thing. Working to improve that grip. All these moves today, we're hitting multiple body parts at the same time. Compound moves. And break. Excellent. Ooh. Two down, two to go. You got to try. Halfway. Staying focused, working on that mental toughness. Two. One, and begin. Come on. Exhale as you bring those arms up. So inhale down, and exhale. Keeping that back straight. Head stays in line with your spine, so you shouldn't be looking up at the TV like this, or your phone, but instead, keep that head right in line with the spine. And break. Whew, starting to burn. Burn so good. <laughs> we got one more try. I'm already there. We're right there with you, fighting together, come on. And begin. Here we go. Last one. Come on, make a count. Last one of these, and then there's no more of them for the day. Moving on. Come on. Squeeze that upper back. Hitting your rhomboids, your rear delts, traps, all getting hit on this one. And two, one, 
Break. Ah, oh. burn so good. Goodness. All right. We only need one dumbbell for this next one. Another compound move. Yep. So let's start by holding that dumbbell on either side. I'm gonna do a side lunge twist plus halo. And I'm gonna do a side squat twist plus the halo. So you decide which depth is most appropriate for you. Right. You'll see, we're gonna step to our left. I'm taking a big step and I'm gonna twist into that lead leg. And I'm doing a side squat and now twisting. We're, we're gonna come back up. Now halo comes up and over your head. Now opposite direction, either a lunge or a squat. Back up, twist, and then again to the left. Might take you a couple reps to get this one. Yes. Let's go in, in three, two, one, begin to the left. You decide which depth, up, over, repeat. Excellent job. This one's working your shoulders, hamstrings, glutes, quadriceps, core, biceps, forearms. It's probably easier to name them. And body parts, it's not break. working. <laughs> Excellent. Probably easier Ooh. to name the body parts this one is not working. Right. Whew. Here we go. One down, three to go. And begin. Excellent. And if you start with one variation on any of these moves today and it's either too easy or too hard, feel free to switch it up. Nothing says you have to stick with the same move throughout the whole process. That's right. And break. Excellent. Ooh. Okay, two down, two to go on this one. Hopefully you're getting the hang of the flow and the rhythm on this one. And begin. All right, let's start into our right. Ah, up and over, keeping a good grip on that dumbbell. We wanna drop it on our head, stay focused on it. If you're doing the lunge, give me a nice big step with that inside leg straight. And two, one, and break. Excellent work. One more. Last one of these. Yep. Shake those shoulders Ooh. out. Here we go. And three, two, one, begin. Fighting through a tribe. Ooh, this you got is it. it right here. It's you versus you. Remember, it's not about how bad you want it. It's about how hard you're willing to work for it. Come on, prove it to yourself. Right here, right now. Let's and see. And break. Whew. Whew. Keep that one dumbbell. Yep. And we're gonna move to the floor. The upper body move coming at you next. We're gonna do an offset dumbbell push up. Give you a couple different options. You can just set the dumbbell up like so. Place your hand on top. Or slightly easier version, dumbbell down. I'm gonna do this one from up on my feet. And I'm gonna be down on my knees for this push up. You decide which is most appropriate for you. All right, getting started in three, <laughs> two, one, begin. Full range of motion on that push up. And again, you choose what's right for you. It's always easier to start with an easier variation and move up harder than it is to start too hard and have to go easier. That's right, always start easier. Almost there, almost there. And in three, two, one, break. Excellent, okay, let's switch which side that dumbbell is on now. Whew. Same move. Opposite Here we go, side. tribe. In three, two, one, begin. That's it. And so by having this offset, it does a few things. One, forces you to use more stability in that side. Two, it puts more of the weight on the arm that isn't on the dumbbell. So it gets you a little extra load on that side. Almost there, come on. In three, two, one, break. Ha ha, Woo. two down, two go. Push-ups, everybody's crap. favorite. Come on, <laughs> getting In better three, at it right here. Two, one, begin. Come on, every push-up is getting you just a little stronger, getting you just a little closer to your goals. Get that back straight, core stays tight, working your shoulders, chest, triceps, core, all together here. And break. All right, oh, Last one. it up. Oh, last one, you got to try. Come on, let's go, last one. And three, two, one, begin. Last 20 seconds. Come on, you got it right here. Prove to yourself how strong you are. Do not hold your breath. Inhale down and exhale as you push up. Come on, 
I want you to exceed your own expectations today. And three, two, one, break. Oh, excellent work. <laughs> Coming back up onto our feet, and we're gonna need to grab that second dumbbell of yours. I'm gonna reduce my weight on this one. We're gonna do either a deep lunge row plus kickback. Or a staggered row plus kickback. So big difference is I'm gonna get down into a deep lunge position. And I'm gonna stay in the staggered stance the entire time. With our arms starting straight down, we're gonna pull back on those elbows, kick back, and return. So it's one, two, three, four, all right. 20 seconds, you know the drill by now, Tribe. In three, two, one, begin. Really gonna burn out those triceps. That's it, gonna burn out a lot. If you're doing the deep lunge, it's also gonna burn out that lead leg. Absolutely. So try to divide it into one, two, three, four distinct movements. So we got that row working your upper back, and then that three, tricep kickback. Two, one, Break. Excellent. Okay, let's switch which leg is in front. Switch that lead leg now. Here Ooh. we go. And begin. Here we go. Not much downtime on this one. Nope. And on that kickback, really try to only bend at the elbow instead of really swinging that whole arm. Focus on just hinging at that elbow joint, isolating those triceps. If you feel like you have to swing, reduce your weight. And three, two, one, break. All right, two down, Whew. two to go. And as Claudia said, adjust your weight as needed. That's right. And three, two, one, begin. Excellent. Keep that back straight. Shoulders stay retracted on this one. And nice and under control, especially on that negative tricep kick back in row. It'd be a lot easier to just let them fall down. Resist that temptation. And three, two, one, Break. Whew. One more try. That's one it. More. Three down, one to go. You got it. We're fighting with you here. And three, two, one, begin. Last one. Thousands, maybe even millions of us at home doing this same move, feeling that same burn you're feeling. You're not in, in it alone. We are in it together. All working together, fighting together. Come on, tribe. And three, two, one, and break. Excellent, okay. Ooh, excellent work. We're gonna take two dumbbells and we're gonna move to the floor. We're gonna do an ISO hip up plus pull over. Let's go through what that looks like. Starting on our backs, our heels nice and close to our glutes. Press those dumbbells up to start. Now I'm gonna do mine as a one leg ISO hip up. Glutes up, one leg out. And I'm gonna have both of my feet onto the ground. So here's your starting position. Now dumbbell pull over, overhead and return. As many as you can get in 20 seconds. All right, you got it. In three, two, one, begin. Trying your best to drive off that heel, squeeze your glutes. If you're doing that one leg variation, trying your best to keep your hips square. That's right, nice and square the whole time. Don't bounce those dumbbells off the floor. In three, two, one, and break. Excellent. If you're doing the one leg variation, go ahead and switch which one leg you're using. And again, in three, two, one, and begin. That's it. Nice and controlled on that dumbbell pullover. Slight bend in your elbows, but arms pretty straight. And you're feeling those lats, which is your mid back stretch and then pulling it back with those lats and chest muscles. And three, two, one, break. Excellent, okay. Whew. Two down, two to go here. Nice second, 10 second break, beginning in three, two, one, begin. Man, those breaks are still flying by, I'll tell you what. That's right. Fastest 10 seconds of my day. Breathing throughout, inhale, as those dumbbells go down, exhale, as you pull them up and over. Not much longer. Almost there, almost there, come on. And three, two, one, and break. Excellent job. All right, one last one to go here. That's right, Tribe. So close. And two, one, begin, last one. And again, I've been saying these are all compound moves. This one's working your chest, your lats, upper back, grip, 
glutes, hamstring, lower back, and abs. All on this one move. And three, two, one, and break. All right, Ooh. we're gonna stay on the floor for this next one, thankfully. We're gonna move into a dumbbell fly plus a hello dolly. So this time we're gonna have those two dumbbells with our palms facing inward, facing one another. Slight bend in those elbows. Next, I want you to bring your head up off the floor, squeeze and contract your abs. Now, I'm gonna do a hello dolly with my legs straight. And I'm gonna have my knees bent on this hello dolly. But both of us have our lower backs glued to the ground. We're gonna open up and close. You decide which variation's best for you. In three, two, one, begin. You're gonna stretch your chest on that fly and then squeeze your chest. Now, if you can't keep that lower back glued to the floor, then I really want you to start to bend those knees and use that modified variation. Shouldn't be any strain on your lower back. And break. Excellent. You should be feeling your abs, your legs, as well as your chest and shoulders. Three, two, one, begin. That's it. Keeping those abs contracted and tight throughout. Good, good, good. That's right, you're gonna have a nice neutral pelvis here. Helps keep your lower back engaged and on the ground. That's it. Again, if you cannot keep that contraction, then you need to move it to my version. Almost there. Not much longer. In three, two, one, break. Whew. Two Whew. down, two to go. That's right, halfway there. That's it, come on. And We're fighting together. three, two, one, begin. Going by so fast. Let's go, tribe. Nice, big, deep breaths. Inhale as those dumbbells come down. Exhale as you squeeze them back together. Halfway point, let's go. Pretend like there's a pencil in between your chest muscles. Three. And you're trying to squeeze two, it. Two, one, and break. Ha. One more to go. Come on. Almost there. It's all about that mental toughness Three, right now. Three, two, one, begin. Last one. Sure, it'd be easier to hit that pause button or just call it a day and say, ah, that's good enough. Well, that's not good enough for you. You're better than that. You started this workout, you're gonna finish it. We're not gonna stop when it hurts. Three, two, one, break. We're gonna stop when we're done. Whew. All right, grab both dumbbells and we're headed back up to our feet. We're gonna do a dumbbell lawnmower. This is like a, a dumbbell lunge variation. Start with both feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna step out with our left foot and reach with our right hand. Both knees to a 90. Pull back on that right elbow. Return, now reach with your left hand. Right foot, pull back and return. You got it, let's go, 20 seconds. Start with that left foot stepping in three, two, one, step, reach, pull back, repeat, step, Reach, pull back. Another compound move here. This one is working your hamstrings, quadriceps, glutes, as well as your back and bicep. Three, two, one, and break. Excellent. One down, three to go here. Not much left, tribe. Again, if it's feeling too easy or too hard, switch up those weights. And three, two, one, begin. That's it. Adjusting this workout for your needs. It's not about using, being able to use that same weight the whole time as much as it's about just keep moving. Don't stop, don't give up. Three, two, one, break. Excellent, two down, Ooh. two to go. Halfway already. Shake those legs loose, come on. Three, two, one, begin. One right into the next. You're a machine, come on, nothing can stop you. One repetition into the next. Every rep is getting you just that much closer to your goal. You got it, you got it. And three, two, one, break. Excellent. Whew. All right, here we go, last one. And then no more of these dumbbell lawnmowers. Come on. Three, two, one, begin. You're gonna be a pro at starting your Pull one more by the end of this one. <laughs> Come on. 
one into the next. Keep that good straight back. Try not to bounce that back knee off the floor. Under control. In three, two, one, break. Only one <sighs> dumbbell is needed for this next one. Keeping the pace up. We're gonna move to the floor. I'm gonna do a bare plank transfer. And I'm gonna do a plank from my knees transfer. So start with that dumbbell on the outside of your right hand. And from my knees, I'm gonna come up into a bare plank position. And Claudia's gonna be on her knees. That's right, I'm already there. With my left hand, I'm reaching under, grab that dumbbell and transfer sides. Left hand down, reach under, transfer sides, back down. Repeat, staying up in that position. 20 seconds, and three, two, one, begin. Trying your best to keep your core tight and engaged. Back stays straight. That's right, we wanna keep our hips and our shoulders as square as possible throughout this entire movement. That's the challenge. I know this one doesn't look like much, but if you're doing it right and you're practicing proper stability, it will catch up with you. Two, one, break. Excellent. Ooh, that time caught up on me. <laughs> <laughs> one down, three to go on this one. And three, two, one, begin. It's another move where that breathing is so crucial to your success. It's easy to get up in this plank position and forget to breathe and hold your breath, but it will catch up with you if you do so. And three, two, one, break. <sighs> two down. Ooh. Two to go, shake it loose, and we're right back into it. Come on, Tribe, starting again in three, two, one, begin. Nice and tight core. Yep, and this one's working that core, but it's also working your triceps, shoulders, chest, legs, all working together, as well as your complete uh, stability of that core. In three, two, one, break. Ha! That's it. One last one. Come on, Trav. Last you got one. It. Almost there. Hang tough. Almost there. In three, two, one. Begin. Again, keeping those shoulders, hips nice and square. It doesn't count if you're rotating. And don't have those arms locked out. Keep a slight bend in that elbow. Don't want to hyperextend those arms. You got it. We're Not much longer, Trav. Almost there. Come on. In three, two, one and break. Excellent work. Ooh. We're to our feet now. Last one, one hand on either side of that dumbbell. I'm gonna do a switch jump plus a twist. And I'm gonna do a step back plus a twist. So I'm starting right here in front with my dumbbell in front. And I'm starting with my feet staggered and I'm gonna switch jump and switch twist which side that dumbbell is on. It's gonna take a little bit to get used to the flow but you're twisting into the lead leg. You decide which variation's right for you. Let's do it in three, two, one, begin. You decide if you want more of a high impact or a low impact move at this portion of the workout. That's right. And if you have a pool of sweat underneath you like I do, careful not to slip. <laughs> Breathe. And three, two, one, break. Ah. Woo. Excellent job. Another one that's taking some coordination. That's right. A lot of brain workouts going on. And three, two, one, begin. Come on. One of the next right here, Tribe. Pushing the pace right to the end. Sprinting to that finish line. We are almost there. Keep that core nice and tight as you twist into the leg. Another, another total body move here. Three, two, one, break. Two Ooh. down, two to go. Come Halfway. On. In Almost it together, there. Tribe. In it together. Light at the end of the tunnel. Three, two, one, begin. How many can you get right here? Pushing yourself because nobody else can or will do it for you. Not doing this for me. You're not doing this for Claudia. Doing this for yourself. Right here. Come on. Almost there, Tribe. In three, two, one, and break. Whew. One last one, come on. So close, so close. Almost there, almost there, almost there. And three, two, one, begin. This is it right here. Proving to yourself how tough you are. Working on that mental toughness today. You can do this, 
You can do anything. 10 more seconds. That's it. Let's three. go, tribe. And three, two, one, break. Whew. Oh, nice work. Dumbbell down. Whew. I don't want to see that again. <laughs> Excellent work out there. Couple of Ooh. deep breaths here. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Cat, catch your breath, coach. There we Same go. Same to you, Claudia. Can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do a cool down next, and thankfully we get to move to the floor for this first one. Yes. So that's about where I want to go right now. Just lie down and relax for a minute. We're gonna get started with a. It's called a figure four. So let's lie down on our backs. Whew. Again, nice big <sighs> deep breaths along that heart rate. Let's come down slowly. Now let's take that left leg and we're gonna bring it up on top of that right knee. And now we're gonna reach, either reach through, or if you don't have the flexibility to do that, you can just pull with the leg, ideally reaching through and grabbing that opposite side knee. And we're pulling that right knee to your chest the best you can. This is gonna stretch out your hip, your IT band, your glutes your piriformis, which is where a lot of that sciatic nerve pain comes from. Just another move to hit multiple muscle groups. And we're just holding and breathing. Nice and relaxed. If you're nice and flexible, you can go all the way down on your back like Coach Kozak, or if you need to keep your chin to your chest a little bit to help you, then that's perfectly fine as well. And let's relax in three, two, one, relax, good. All right, opposite side now, same move. Bring that right leg up onto the left knee. And again, either reach through or you can just grab that knee up to that ankle and shin up top and stretch. Now, this is what we call a static stretch where we're just holding one position. And anytime we do a stretch like this, you wanna get it to about 85, 90% of what you're capable of. You wanna feel a good stretch, but you shouldn't be feeling pain. There's a difference. So take it to where you're feeling that good stretch. In three, two, one, zero, and relax. Very good, okay, now we're gonna take a five minute nap. <laughs> no, not really, I wish. Okay, we're up on our feet. Ah, and we're gonna move into a standing quadriceps stretch. Come up slowly if you need to. You can either do this one on your own, or you can grab a counter, a wall, chair for some support. So we're gonna pull back on that ankle and foot, keep that knee into your side, we're gonna stretch that quadricep, that front thigh muscle. Got a lot of work today. Indeed it did. And again, this is another static stretch, so we're practicing that 85, 90% of what you're capable of. Nice big deep breaths here. Try not to flare that knee out. Keep it in for three, two, one, zero. Ah, let it relax and move on to that opposite side. And again, if you want, you can do this on your own. Work on your stability a little bit as well. I'm just trying to get a good quad stretch right now, so I'm okay holding on. But you do what works for you. Again, focusing on that breathing, letting that heart rate come down as we recover. For five, four, three, two, one. Zero, relax. Ooh. All right, we're gonna move back to the floor one more time. And we're gonna get to all fours position or that quadruped position on our hands and knees. And let's take our right hand and let's place it behind our head. And now we're gonna take that right elbow, bring it to your left hand. And then we're gonna rotate up, twist up the best you can and repeat. Great rotation drill. Help you with that spinal mobility. Nice and controlled on this one, as well as this also is gonna loosen up your shoulders and your chest. Inhale down and exhale as you come up. Another compound exercise here. Great one to help improve your posture as well. Controlled, not a race anymore, the workout's over. And we're gonna switch sides in five, four, three, two, one, same move, opposite side. So right hand down, left hand behind our head. And when you're ready, right back into it. And again, you might find that one side's a little tighter than the other. 
nothing to be alarmed about. As long as you keep coming back and practicing, a lot of those imbalances will even themselves out over time. Same thing with any popping, cracking, snapping that you may hear or feel, as long as it's not causing you any pain, it's normal. Yep, totally. Not something to be alarmed about. For five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna do a little, finish off with a little yoga inspired stretch next. Starting off with a downward dog. So on both hands, feet together, we're gonna straighten out those legs, relax our shoulders and pull those hips back. Like somebody's grabbing onto your glutes and they're pulling them back behind you to the wall. All right, nice, big, relaxed, deep breaths. If you want, you can walk your feet out like Claudia is doing, just to put a little emphasis on one side to the next. Ooh, it helps stretch out your calves as well. Calves and hamstrings. Yes, yeah, one's stretching calves, hamstrings, glutes, and as well as shoulders and back. Okay, now let's transition, bring those hips down. We're gonna transition hips down, head up, chest up, and do a cobra. So you can either come down onto your feet or you can stay up onto the balls of your feet for a little extra stretch, bringing those shoulders back. And I want you to squeeze those glutes on this one. And while you're here the whole time, I just want you to keep those glutes squeezed. Good, shoulders back, hold and breathe. Sit nice and relaxed. And relax down. Last one, we're gonna sit back and do a child's pose. So keep those hands down, relax the shoulders, trying our best to sit down, our glutes on top of our heels. Relax those shoulders, head down. We're just gonna take a minute here to reflect on the work that we just got done doing. Be proud of ourselves for getting our workout in today. We can check that off our list, feel accomplished. One more workout done, one step closer to that goal. And we're gonna come back at our next scheduled workout and we're just gonna keep working at it one workout at a time. Right. Not gonna happen overnight. Consistency and patience will pay off. That's it. Just gonna keep our eyes on the prize and keep fighting. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Up nice and slow so we don't pass out. You can stay where you're at. That's it, and you can hang out down there. We gotta come up, <laughs> come on up. And that is it, Claudia, Excellent. you made it. You made it. Made it out there, tribe. Excellent work. Thank you so much for working your butt off with us today showing up we'd ask that you please help support our mission of keeping these great workouts free and you can do so by downloading our free app it's available for both ios and android you can also stop by our store pick up some has fit gear or our diet guide eating for life also please do not forget to like us on your favorite social media platform Again, thank you so much for working out with us today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.